All right, welcome back, everyone. It's going to be a long ass day, but obviously, we just finished watching the Microsoft E3 2017 press conference and the end of their show with Bioware's new IP anthem. Now, it doesn't surprise me anymore that EA decided to for to show forego showing it at their own press conference, but instead showing it at uh, Microsoft's press conference because the stage is a little bigger, but also the fact that it's you know running on an Xbox One X and they could showcase the graphics and the game just looks. Beautiful. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at my reaction. I am tired. Here's John Warner from Bioware to show you Anthem. Yes. Gameplay. Legit gameplay with somebody. Yep. Controller. Everything you're about to see was captured Hi, in I'm game. Jonah, game director for Anthem. Action. Here is the world premiere of Anthem's gameplay. Okay, it's a strong start. I love it. Freelancer. Praxley. Listen. Whoa. Big trouble. Big trouble. Whoa. What did you do? <sighs> Mistake. I hired some people they weren't freelancers i know they said they could handle it and the price was right i thought maybe unbelievable you're right it was stupid i'm sorry but they're still out there somewhere if you could just bring them back anything you need You could like see like in the, world the pores Anthem, on his face, you your but like clearly. The heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown and protect humanity. Let's join two players as they head out on an expedition. Okay, this seems like a cutscene, but I can't tell. You ready to go? I'm just grabbing some supplies. Just about ready. What are you going to use today? I decided to go with the Colossus. I'm going to use my Ranger. Try out some new upgrades. Okay. Looks absolutely gorgeous. I will say that. Female lead. Every player will own an array of exosuits we call javelins. javelins. These suits give players superhuman abilities and are heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. Good. Nice, you've got a mortar equipped. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. You lead the way, I'll follow. Oh my god. This is straight up just open world game. You can just go anywhere you want. How does it look like that? This I don't understand. This is a open world you explore with your friends. Each Javelin exosuit has its own unique play style. The I'm confused. The balanced in all purpose, while the Colossus is a tanking powerhouse. All right. Let's see what's up here. What is happening? It's, it seems like we made a massive jump from last year. It doesn't even make any sense. The world of Anthem is hostile, and threats can come from any direction. It's a dynamic world where the unexpected is around every corner. Seems like a problem for another day. Man, this game, this game right now. I'll go low, you flank. <laughs> okay. I was really skeptical at Adam, first. We should do that later with Kim. Yeah, you could use the XP. Hello, treasure. Okay, so the lighting is absurd. 
textures in the distance are absurd. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Visually. And the gameplay looks fun as hell, man. In motion? Look at that. You can equip your Javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. <laughs> Holy shit. Down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Time to use that mortar. Oh my god. <laughs> I just don't understand. This world is massive. Like, yeah, I played Horizon Zero Dawn. It looks amazing, but... <laughs> oh, come on. Yo, I'm not fucking around. This yes. might look better. Oh, yes! Jerry's wrath. Oh, nice. <sighs> Large-scale oh, world events like Shaper Storms are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Shaper storm incoming. Okay. Shaper Actually, storm. Let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, what's happening? Right behind you. I checked my phone for the camera. I'm making sure that it doesn't turn off on me in the middle of this demo. Whoa. Yo! Is oh my god, look at that tech! What are we supposed to do? Fly into it? Alright, let's do this. See you on the other side. Our story is out there. Yo. That looked beautiful. You know, I'll, I'll later on I'll start critiquing, but you know, game needs to impress you visually. If oh god, is this a montage? This is a montage, yeah, yeah, it's a montage. All right, so obviously Bioware is going to go the RPG route, and it looks like this game is no different. Um, they have something called the Javelin, right, which is the exosuits, and uh, you they're fully customizable. You get to shade them however you want, and I think those aspects of freedom in terms of customization is what makes Bioware so great and um, it really seems to me like the team that's making this is incredibly hard at work on this game because it looks incre it looks absolutely stunning um, again it could be the Xbox One X 4k you know down sampling to my TV or whatever but it just looks sharp as hell for an open world game and I cannot believe the lighting in a game that big it is it's incredible and there's it seems like there's a lot of freedom and movement a lot of flying around in the exosuits which could create some really interesting gameplay mechanics as well i'm not looking for anything like just cause type of freedom but i am looking for some craziness i am looking for uh some crazy gifts and a crazy community building um you know just just crazy moments and i think that this game will kind of bring that type of freedom as well but there's obviously a heavy story element. The very beginning of the demo showcased the character and the pores on his face. I mean, it was it was honestly ridiculous how good that game looked. And I just, I really can't believe that a game that big um, with that much going on can look like that. But then again, we saw the Metro uh, Exodus trailer or demo and that looks stunning. So I'm, I'm honestly not surprised anymore. Uh, so we'll see what those games actually look like. It could, like I said, it could be the Xbox One X effect. The, the fact that those games are running at 4K, being downsampled, um, but I don't know, man. Like, that game looked at... It, I, was, I was honestly just sitting there, couldn't believe it. But anyway, enough of the graphics, of course. Um, all of those things that make Bioware Bioware seem to be present in this game. And uh, not only that, but, a, but an interesting story with with a lot of characters and a f it feels like a livable world, right? One of the big worries that I had that it was going to be a social kind of game, at least that's what the rumors were kind of pointing at. Um, 
we'll see where the social aspect connects to this. Maybe it'll have a multiplayer. But when I first saw that first scene, it kind of just grounded me. I was like, you know what? This is this is Bioware. This is what this game's going to be about. It looks absolutely incredible. And that's the last time I will say that in this video because uh, it looks incredible. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the Anthem gameplay demo shown at Microsoft's E3 2017 press conference. Um, this is, It's a stunner, and I just can't wait to see more of that game, and hopefully we get, we get it in 2018 and not 2019, but um, I'm very, very, very impressed in some of the explosions. I mean, it was just, as you could tell by the reaction you just watched. I'll see you guys all in the next one. I'm tired.